Prince Philip Health, decrease in quality of life but safer than Queen from coronavirus. Prince Philip faces a decrease in quality of life, something many men his age experience, a medical expert warned, but he is still better placed than the Queen to deal with the coronavirus outbreak. Prince Philip retains the ability to walk unaided and a strong mind, as footage of the Duke of Edinburgh leaving hospital in late December showed. However, the Duke is facing the difficulties that come with his advanced age, one doctor said. Dr. Diana Gall, from doctor for You, told Express.co.uk, some people who reach their 90s are fortunate enough to have retained normal cognitive function and to be still able to be mobile and independent. However, very old age just come with problems. Many people are living much longer these days but with the aid of modern medicine. Medicine helps to manage some of the problems many people of Prince Philip's age experience, and the reality for the average 98-year-old is a decrease in quality of life. They may not be able to do some of the things they've always enjoyed in life and they often have to rely on medicine and care services to meet basic needs. However, the doctor added, Prince Philip's active lifestyle, first as a Navy official, then a hard-working royal with a passion for walks, carriage rides and sports, and privileged life, has surely helped to fend off the troubles coming with age. Dr. Gaw continued, the Duke of Edinburgh has reportedly always been a keen walker, exercised each day, ate moderately, and maintained a healthy weight throughout his life, all of this helps to prolong life. Walking is very beneficial for health, a daily brisk walk can protect and strengthen the heart, protect the joints from arthritis, and boost immune function to protect against diseases, this can help to avoid problems in old age and increase the chances of living longer. Prince Philip has been living a rather secluded life in Sandringham since early September, according to a source. And this decision to live a calmer life, far from the chaotic royal life in London, may be protecting the Duke of Edinburgh from the current coronavirus outbreak. Dr. Gall said, the Queen may be at a lower risk than the general public, but at a higher risk than Prince Philip if she is out and about meeting people rather than staying more isolated like Prince Philip. According to the doctor, the Queen isn't particularly at risk to contract coronavirus as she doesn't take public transports or work in the office. However, she meets several people every day much more than her husband. On Tuesday, the monarch was spotted carrying out an investiture ceremony wearing white gloves for the first time in decade, leading many commentators to think this fashion choice aimed to protect the queen from the virus. However, the doctor warned the use of gloves may not be particularly helpful against the coronavirus. She said, wearing gloves won't necessarily protect the queen or anyone in the general public from COVID-19. Keeping the hands clean is vital to stop the spread, however, you're still able to spread the virus while wearing gloves, particularly if you touch your face. At least with bare hands, you're able to wash the virus away. Gloves are more appropriate for health workers who come into contact with bodily fluids. During his stay at a five-bedroom house, Wood Farm, in the grounds of the Queen's Sandringham estate, Prince Philip is said to have suffered from a bit of a wobble sparking health fears. A source told The Sun in November, a few weeks ago Philip had a bit of a wobble and hasn't felt so energetic. He has been living quietly at Sandringham, where he spends most of his time reading and pottering about. Until recently he has been very active, carriage riding, fishing at Balmoral and driving around royal estates, although he no longer drives on public roads following his crash in January. His mind is as sharp as ever.